Hey there, keto peeps. I'm Heather. This is What's Up Wednesday. It's three o'clock. This is what we do on Wednesday afternoons. So thanks for joining me. Um, today I'm going to be talking about what I wrote on the blog, which is fear and feeling fear and, and conquering it and coming out the other side being the hero to your own story. Um, fear is something that I deal with a lot in the last three years seems like it's been a running theme for me. As soon as I conquer one fear, I'm faced with something else. Um, it's challenging. It's kept me on my toes. But in 47 years, I have not had nearly the growth that I've had in these last three years and all of the 47 years put together. So fear is something I'm really starting to um, become friends with a little bit almost. Um, I look forward to the, the what's on the other side of the fear. For me, fear really started to show up when um, I was dealing with pre-keto. I was dealing with um, health and weight issues, um, really trying to conquer them. And that led me to trying some really drastic things like an all lean protein diet. That didn't bode well for me. Um, I got really sick. I had crazy fatigue, like I could not get out of bed, I couldn't move, um, horrible headaches, nausea, diarrhea, um, just really felt horrible. I, like Unlike anything I'd ever really dealt with before um, to that extreme. And so that, that feeling sick and, that, and knowing not something that wasn't right led me to a website that talked about protein poisoning and which is also called rabbit starvation. And that happens when you are on a diet consisting of all lean proteins, um, fats essential for health and one of the quickest ways to cure yourself of the protein poisoning or rabbit sickness is fats. So on that website, it all made sense. Like I, I had gone and eaten some cream cheese. If you don't know my story, like that was the turning point for me. I was sick with this rabbit starvation went to the refrigerator, ate a big chunk of cream cheese, started to feel better immediately, and then started going, what is this? And so that's where it led me to this website. And it happened to be a ketogenic website. And I had no idea, I'd never heard of keto before, um, really had no exposure. I mean, I'd heard of Atkins and, and ketosis, so I was you know, sort of familiar, but not to this extent. So that led me to this site, and I started you know, really kind of delving into it a little bit. But I was just trying to get better at that point. I wasn't trying to lose weight anymore. I was just trying to feel better. So I stepped away from it and ended up coming back to it a month later. But it took a month of me feeling really overwhelmed, scared, um, tired, worried that I was always going to be overweight and sick for the rest of my life, that I was going to be, you know, going into my 40s, I was going to be just miserable mid forties. I was going to be that, that overweight, sick person that would probably die an early death. And I was kind of like getting to the point where I'm like, this is it. And I was really scared. I was also really scared to try this, like to actually try the ketogenic diet. Like to me at this point, I was so burned out from diets and how badly they had gone for me in the past that I didn't want a repeat of it. I could not imagine going into this, being fully committed and really giving this a shot and having it not work. Like that was, I was really scared that that was a, a good possibility for me. So there was some fear with that. Fear of telling other people that I was trying this. What would they say? You know, everybody says, you know, they, they'd been saying low fats, whole grains, um, this was going against everything that pretty much I'd been hearing for most of my life. Um, also the, oh my God, if I fail at this again, people are going to know that I don't have the discipline to do this, that um, I can't do this. And that makes me a failure. So there was a lot of fear surrounding me starting this, this lifestyle. And I felt it. I was fully invested in the fear, like it kept me paralyzed until it didn't, until I just said, what the hell? I have it in me to try it one more time. 
I'm going to do this. Let's see if this makes sense. I know how I felt eating lean protein and how good I felt as soon as I had the cream cheese. So there must be something to this, but is it going to really work for me? And is it going to be something that I'm actually going to lose weight? I'm going to be able to keep it off. Those were all real fears. And the beautiful thing is that it worked and it worked immediately. I started seeing results. I started feeling better. Um, and the discipline came because I felt so good. I became fully invested in my well being, in my health, my weight, my mental well being. All of those things became really important. So I did have the discipline. I'd always had the discipline. I mean, you have to have some discipline in order to do an all lean protein diet or, you know, kill yourself in the gym six days a week, two hours a day um, for months and months and months and months. There's, there's some discipline. I, I know that a lot of you have the discipline and have tried things before that didn't work. So you're like, ah, uh, give up. So the giving up, does that mean that you don't have discipline or are you just fed up with trying and putting all this effort in and not getting results? So I'm familiar with that. And what's interesting is one of the reasons that I wrote this blog this week and, and addressed fear is because I hear it all the time and especially in my new clients, they're afraid. They're afraid of this not working for them or them not being disciplined enough to do it or the fact that they're gonna have to change everything give up bread, give up grains, give up, you know, some of the things, the sugars, the things that they, they, they're used to eating or turning to in times of comfort or for cravings or whatever else, however else you end up eating that stuff. There's fear of giving that up. What's life going to look like when you give up these, these so-called treats? Well, I can tell you that it is a trade-off that you, you do give up some things. That's the reality. But what you gain by giving up those things is so much better. I can't eat, I can't tell you. You have to be able to experience that for yourself. The difference between knowing what real food does to your body and how it reacts versus processed foods, carb heavy foods, sugar heavy foods, like what does that do to your body? You won't know and you won't be able to voice it until you do know. You don't know until you know, and you don't know until you actually try and, and get out there and, and commit to a new way of being. So my th throughout the last three years, that was the real first moment of fear that I had. Um, the fear of uh, like the ultimate fear being I'm going to be this way for the rest of my life. Um, that spurred me into action. Then there's fears of what next? What else do I do? Am I going to keep this off? Is, am I, is this lifestyle sustainable? Is this something that, you know, I can help others with? I mean, like these are all fears that I felt along the way. But what I realized is every time fear shows up in my life, I look at it as an opportunity for me to be the hero again to myself. Um, because as soon as I conquer those fears, whatever fear that is, my life shifts, my attitude shifts, my perspective shifts. I feel a little taller. I feel a little like my shoulders kind of kick back a little bit more. Um, I feel 10 foot tall and bulletproof. I feel like I don't need to wait for anybody to come rescue me. I can do it. But what that takes is for me to feel fear, recognize what that fear is, what's surrounding that fear. What are the, really, what is it, what is it that's keeping me from making these next changes or then and implementing this next process or, or part in my life? What are the things that are holding me back? What is the fear really? Is it fear of failure? Is it fear of looking bad? Is it fear of success? I mean, some people are afraid of success. Um, I, in the past that that's happened to me too. So you know, what is the fear? I, I really break that down and then I feel it. And then I use that, whatever it is to spur me into facing my fear and doing it. And as soon as I do it, I'm better. Perfect example, this Facebook live thing. When this first came out, I sat for two months sitting in my head going, I really need to do this. I need to jump on. I need to, I need to get out there and, and start doing videos and, and doing all this stuff. And the more that I sat there feeling fear and like squirrel rabbit squirrel caging in my head of like, what's that going to feel like? 
I just, it became paralyzing and to the point where it kind of started me down a really dark path for a, a couple weeks. And as soon as I just said, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to jump on. I'm just going to do it. As soon as I did and hit that live, go live button, like I was like, okay, so I wasn't too bad. Like I'm still alive. I didn't have a heart attack. I didn't completely mess up. Um, it was pretty good for a first go round. So like, I got to give myself props, but feeling the fear of that anxiousness of, of getting ready to go live, that's really scary. But the best part is when it's over going, I did it. Like that is freaking awesome. I'm a rock star. Like I really gave myself props and I encourage you to do the same. So when you're looking at fear and whether it's keeping you from making changes in your health, weight, well-being, whatever that may be, or growing a business or getting married, whatever, committing to whatever to make that next great step in your life. Whatever the fear is, I encourage you to face it, to make friends with it, to allow it to fuel you onto the next great part of your life and become the hero of your own journey and your own story. Um, I think we all have that ability. And I think that once you start to feel like a hero or heroine of your own story, you're just going to keep doing more great things and you're going to have moments of fear and know it's okay that the fear is not going to kill you. It's only going to make you stronger. If you face it and courage, get the courage to actually do the next thing that propels you to the greatness. So that's my 10 minutes for today. Um, I hope you go over to the blog, check out more about what I wrote about fear and making friends with it. Um, and in the meantime, next Wednesday on the blog, we got a whole new recipe and I created six new dishes last, last month for my members that they're getting on Monday. So if you're looking to join the group and, and become part of all this greatness, now's the time to do it because on the sixth in their inbox, first thing Monday morning, they're going to have five new meal plans, six new recipes in total. Um, and a whole shopping list for to really get them kicked off for the month of February. So join me next Wednesday. I'll be talking about more things on WhatsApp. And until then, take care.